Hi, and welcome to GCTV. I'm Justin Stewart, and on today's Student Spotlight, we're going to be talking to broadcasting student Brandon Hunt. What's up, Brandon? Hey, how's it going? How's it going? It's going pretty good. So, tell us a little bit about why you're at Gaston College. I'm here at Gaston College and pursuing my degree in broadcasting and production. Mm -hmm. Just like me? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, what kind of music do you make? Um, I don't uh, really have a specific genre, mm -hmm. so I just do all, t all types of music. Yeah, just jumping around all over the place. Yeah, somebody wants to record a uh, rap or hip hop or mm -hmm. R and B pop or country song. I'll yeah, do it. yeah. And what inspires you when you go in to make music? What inspires me? Yeah. Basically, to be inspired, just to actually be there and that actually have fun with music, because that, that's that's what I seem to have the most fun with, just having fun with music. Yeah, and what do you see yourself doing in 10 years? In 10 years, I see myself in the music industry, mm -hmm. either, either being an artist or an engineer. Or, or both. Yeah, or both. <laughs> or, or, or maybe a producer. I mean, mm -hmm. sky's the limit. Yeah, and you were also in the military. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, the military, that's, that's, a, that's a big topic range. Because... <clears throat> uh, Basically, it's like with uh, the military, it's like you have like different uh, cultures, like military by itself is a culture and, mm -hmm. by, and it's a world by itself. Like say you have somebody from New Jersey, somebody from Washington, D.C., somebody from California, yeah, yeah. and then somebody from North Carolina. You bring, it's like the military brings all those people to in one place, together in one place. Yeah. And you, you can learn a lot from, you know, somebody from the East Coast, West Coast, yeah. up north, down south. And you were, you were in multiple branches, weren't you? Was each branch different yes, for you? It, yes, each branch was very different. Yeah. I mean, because I was in the Marines and in the Army. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically, basically. Uh, and what was it like for you coming back to civilian life? What was that transition like? I mean, I'm still in that transition, you mm -hmm. know, transition from military to civilian. I mean, I've been in transition back since 2012 mm -hmm. uh, when I actually got out. But, yeah. I mean, I've been in, like, the reserves from 2013 and 14, 15, 16. So yeah. I'm still in that transition, transitional phase. It's like something that military people can never actually yeah. get over. It's a long process. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's a very long, expedited, well, I wouldn't say expedited, but a long process. Mm -hmm. And uh, what was your experience in the military like for your music? Did that influence it in any way, and how so? Yes, it, it did influence it in, in like some way. I mean, because I was, at the time, it's like I was thinking, like, what am I going to do? Like, what, like, what really inspires me to get up every morning and actually put on my military uniform and go to work and be there at 545, the crack of dawn, you know, just to keep pushing. Yeah. But ultimately, uh, I, th I think broadcasting, it, it really it really had an effect on me because while I was overseas in 2000, well, yeah. 2011, yeah. I was uh, wanting to uh, change my job to a combat camera. I was one of the, yeah, yeah. I actually be a photographer yeah. for the military. I was mm -hmm. like, it didn't dawn on me till later to like that oh, you could do that. Yeah, <laughs> I could do do that. But in this process of me being overseas and trying to change jobs, yeah, it's like the process took too long while I was overseas. So I had to wait till I got back. Yeah, and in the process of coming back, try still tried to do that, but it wouldn't let me. Cause it's like all the uh, all the jobs were closed out. Like yeah, how you know how you got jobs here? It's like everybody's taking that position. Yeah, all positions are filled. Yeah, that's what basically happened. Basically, is that what it's like in the military? Like applying for different jobs and stuff? Do you have to wait for those positions to open? Do you have to be interviewed for those? Well, not necessarily interview, um, but you do have to actually put in a packet. Mm -hmm. Like be, an application. Yeah, basically like application. Yeah, and then upon uh, upon the approval of the coming out of the Marine Corps or mm -hmm. uh, uh, commanding general of the Army, then they they'll, they'll basically approve you to be do like what is called a lateral move, 
which allows you to switch from one job to another. Yeah. All right. Well, I believe that's all the questions we have for you today. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank uh, you very much. This is GCTV. I'm Justin Stewart here with Brandon Hunt. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.